one. Welcome back to another episode of the Dramatic Bible Reading Podcast. I'm your host, Bert Clemens. Well, today we'll be reading Jeremiah chapter 1 and chapter 2. Jeremiah's call and commission, the almond rod and boiling pot. And in chapter 2, Judah's apostasy. Now let's go to the reading. Jeremiah chapter 1, Jeremiah's call and commission. The words of Jeremiah, the son of Hilkiah, of the priests who were in Anthoth, in the land of Benjamin, to whom the word of the Lord came in the days of Josiah, the son of Ammon, king of Judah, in the thirteenth year of his reign. They came also in the days of Jehoiakim, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, until the end of the eleventh year of Zedekiah, the sons of Josiah, king of Judah, until the exile of Jerusalem in the fifth month. Now the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Behold, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. And before you were born, I consecrated you. I have appointed you a prophet to the nations. Then I said, Alas, Lord God, behold, I do not know how to speak, because I am a youth. But the Lord said to me, Do not say I am a youth, because everywhere I send you, you shall go. And all that I command you, you shall speak. Do not be afraid of them, for I am with you to deliver you, declares the Lord. Then the Lord stretched out his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said to me, Behold, I have put my words in your mouth. See, I have appointed you this day over the nations and over the kingdoms to pluck up and to break down, to destroy and to overthrow, to build and to plant. The Almond Tree and Boiling Pot the word of the Lord came to me, saying, What do you see, Jeremiah? And I said, I see a rod and an almond tree. Then the Lord said to me, You have seen well, for I am watching over my word to perform it. The word of the Lord came to me a second time, saying, What do you see? And I said, I see a boiling pot facing away from the north. Then the Lord said to me, out of the north the evil will break forth on all the inhabitants of the land. For behold, I am calling all the families of the kingdoms of the north, declares the Lord. And they will come and they will set each one his throne at the entrance of the gates of Jerusalem and against all its walls round about and against all the cities of Judah. I will pronounce my judgments on them concerning all their wickedness whereby they have forsaken me and have offered sacrifices to other gods, and have worshipped the works of their own hands. Now gird your loins and arise, and speak to them all which I command you. Do not be dismayed before them, for I will dismay you before them. Now behold, I have made you today as a fortified city, and as a pillar of iron, and as walls of bronze against the whole land, to kings of Judah, to his princes, to his priests, and to the people of the land. They will fight against you, but they will not overcome you, for I am with you to deliver you, declares the Lord. Jeremiah chapter 2 Judah's Apostasy now the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Go and proclaim in the ears of Jerusalem, saying, Thus says the Lord, I remembered concerning you the devotion of your youth, the love of your betrothals, your following after me in the wilderness, through a land not sown. Israel was holy to the Lord, the first of his harvest. 
all who ate of it became guilty. Evil came upon them, declares the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord, O house of Jacob, and all the families of the house of Israel, thus says the Lord. What injustices did your fathers find in me, that they went far from me, and walked after emptiness, and became empty? They did not say, Where is the Lord who brought us up out of the land of Egypt, who led us through the wilderness, through a land of deserts and of pits, through a land of drought and of deep darkness, through a land that no one crossed and where no man dwelt. I brought you into the fruitful land to eat its fruit and its good things, but you came and defiled my land and my inheritance you made an abomination. The priest did not say, Where is the Lord? For those who handled the law did not know me. The rulers also transgressed against me, and the prophets prophesied by Baal, and walked after things that did not profit. Therefore, I will yet contend with you, declares the Lord, and with your sons' sons I will contend. For cross to the coastlands of Kittim and see, and send from Kedar and observe closely, and see if there has been such a thing as this. Has a nation changed gods when they were not gods? But my people have changed their glory for that which does not profit. Be appalled, O heavens, at this, and shuddered, be very desolate, declares the Lord. For my people have committed two evils. They have forsaken me, the fountain of living waters, to hew for themselves cisterns, broken cisterns, that can hold no water. Is Israel a slave, or is he a home-born servant? Why has he become a prey? The young lions have roared at him. They have roared loudly. They have made his land a waste. His cities have been destroyed without inhabitant. Also the men of Memphis and Tapanus have shaved the crown of your head. Have you not done this to yourself by your forsaking the Lord your God when he led you in the way? But now what are you doing on the road to Egypt to drink the waters of the Nile? Or what are you doing on the road to Assyria to drink the waters of the Euphrates? Your own wickedness will correct you and your apostasies will reprove you. Know therefore and see that it is evil and bitter for you to forsake the Lord your God. And the dread of me is not in you, declares the Lord God of hosts. For long ago I broke your yoke and tore off your bonds. But you said, I will not serve. For on every high hill and under every green tree, you have laid down as a harlot. Yet I planted you a choice vine, a completely faithful seed. And how then have you turned yourself before me into the degenerate shoots of a foreign vine? Although you wash yourself with lye and use much soap, the stain of your iniquity is before me, declares the Lord God. How can you say, I am not defiled? I have not gone after the bales. Look at your ways in the valley. Know what you have done. You are a swift young camel entangling her ways, a wild donkey accustomed to the wilderness that sniffs the wind in her passion in a time of her heat who can turn her away? All who seek her will not become weary. In her mouth, they will find her. Keep your feet from being unshod and your throat from thirst. But you said, it is hopeless. No, for I have loved strangers. And after them, I will walk. As a thief is shamed when he is discovered, so the house of Israel is shamed. They, their kings, their princes, and their priests and their prophets, who say to a tree, 
you are my father, and to a stone, you gave me birth. For they have turned their back to me, and not their face. But in the time of their trouble, they will say, Arise and save us. But where are your gods, which you made for yourself? Let them arise, if they can save you in the time of your trouble. According to the number of your cities are your gods, O Judah. Why do you contend with me? You have all transgressed against me, declares the Lord. In vain I have struck your sons. They accepted no chastening. Your sword has devoured your prophets like a destroying lion. O generation, heed the words of the Lord. Have I been a wilderness to Israel or a land of thick darkness? Why do my people say we are free to roam? We will no longer come to you. Can a virgin forget her ornaments or a bride her attire? Yet my people have forgotten me days without number. How well you prepare your way to seek love. Therefore, even the wicked woman, you have taught your ways. Why do you go around so much changing your way? Also, you will be put to shame by Egypt, as you were put to shame by Assyria. From this place also, you will go out with your hands on your head. For the Lord has rejected those in whom you trust and you will not prosper with them. That is the end of Jeremiah chapter 2. Well, that concludes another episode of the Dramatic Bible Reading Podcast. You know, the Lord said he will have no other God before him, and he'll reject those in whom we put our trust and we will not prosper with them. Tell someone about this podcast because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of the Lord. Until next time, I'm your host, Bert Clements. <music>